Hello everyone and welcome to your reading for, sorry, welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for the week of September the 17th through September the 23rd and we are going to say goodbye to Virgo and hello to Libra. Um, I just want to keep you, um, or to inform you that my mother transitioned um, this past week on September the 13th and um, in her sleep so she's at peace and uh, I've been in solitude and meditation for the last couple of days um, but I really want to give these readings in her honor so I'm sorry I must move on <laughs> um, Thank you for joining me and um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. And without further ado, ado in honour of my mum, Mary Trimble. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue with these readings and I've meditated a long time and I know that she's with me and she's giving me strength and courage. So... Uh, Okay, here we go. Let's focus. Um, so I start, those of you who haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so sorry that I'm like an emotional wreck. Thank you, thank you for coming. I, I really appreciate you. I hope that you like these readings and I hope that you'll return. And those of you returning, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support and um consistently uh, commenting and liking and and all that good stuff thank you thank you um so this week we have kind of a lot going on and on the 18th we have uh, mars square to pluto uh sorry uranus um so yeah excuse any mistakes i'm a little fuzzy this week so Mars square to uh, Uranus. This could be, you, Mars is the planet of action. It can be the planet, it's known also as the planet of war. So we can be irritated sometimes. Mars can give us the, um, uh, we can, we can, I'm sorry, my dog. Hey Sparky. He's really helped me through this difficult situation. Come say hello to everyone. I'm sorry. Say hello. Look, there you go. Hi, he's my love. Mwah. I've been in solitude with Sparky, so I haven't been totally in solitude. Mwah. I love you, darling. Mm. Go back down. Now you've said hello to everyone. I know, I love you. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so um, Mars can have us kind of reacting and sometimes saying things without thinking and, um, you know, quick to anger. Um, but it also can give us uh, the inspiration to get up and go and do things. Um, and Uranus is the planet of sudden happenings, right? So we could have some surprises, you know, coming up uh, this week. Uh, when it's square, it's such a challenging aspect, but... What that means is it's kind of there's kind of lessons to learn. I always think that squares um, aren't really negative aspects. They 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 kind of they kind of shake us up, right? And they kind of get us. You know, life would be boring without some kind of uh, I don't want to say conflict, but maybe conflict. Yes, without some kind of controversy or or something that's going to get us up and and you know look at things in a different way or react differently or learn from. So now um, on the 20th sun is conjunct Mercury and that is, um, that means it's, it's, in a, it's right next to it, right? So it's illuminating, uh, they're illuminating each other in a way. So the sun is shining on Mercury and Mercury is the planet um, of thought, of uh, intellect, of, um, uh, communication so I always think that this is a lovely time for communication it's a good time for writing it's a good time for publishing it's a good time to um, to go out 
and uh, connect with people and and also to contemplate and get really amazing ideas. Um, and then on the 21st, Mercury moves into Libra. Um, Libra, of course, is the scales, it's balance, it's seeing things from every perspective. And I feel that uh, Mercury is, the, as I said before, the planet of communications. Maybe it can kind of ex you know, it can, you know, Mercury can have us thinking uh, in a, a 180 degree, we can think of all kinds of possibilities. Um, and then on the 22nd, the sun moves into Libra. Happy birthday, Libra. And, um, and so the 23rd, Mercury trines Mars. Now where it was, um, it's a really, Mercury is, look, Mercury can give us these brilliant ideas and it's in a really beautiful relationship with Mars. So then Mars can actually, you know, have us carrying out those ideas, get us um, in action um, to work on those ideas. Um, so look, I'm making it very short and sweet. I just kind of uh, did that on the spur of the moment. I didn't take any notes, so except just to what the aspects were. Uh, and so without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading for September the 17th through September the 23rd. And this, as I said before, is an honor for my mum. Uh, and the first card out for you guys is the Knight of Swords. And when I pick this it up, the, you know, he's known as the he's the knight of justice he's he's um he wants to come in and he wants to save everyone and he wants to make sure that everyone's doing the right thing for the right reasons he's gallant he's very f i don't want to say he's fair because he rushes in and he passes judgment really fast sometimes um but his 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 motivation is to be honest and fair and um the champion for justice. Um, he wants to uh, he wants to serve justice on those that uh, that don't deserve it, right? Or that deserve it. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, he wants to serve justice. Um, now, what I got when I picked this up is I got, and it's not normally the kind of message with this, but I get that he, the help is on the way. I feel that you're going through a difficult time and you might get a help in the way of um, somebody's going to tell you something that you weren't kind of aware of and what and the, what they're telling you is the truth but it might kind of um, upset you. Now it might not be about you or to you but it might be some information that's going to affect you and it's putting you in a little fear and like, oh, you know, like it's that feeling in the stomach, like, oh, I don't want to hear that. You know, that's, I'm scared, you know, I'm afraid. You know, we all get that sometimes. It's like afraid of what we're, you know, what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen around the corner and how is this going to change me and my life and, you know. Um, so I feel that there's some news is going to come in for you that's going to be a little um, worrisome is what I want to say. Um, and you've got clarifying it, you've got the Six of Swords. And this is saying that you're you're ready to move on from something. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be an apartment, a house, an area, a country. Whatever it is for you, you are, you're about to move on. And it's like you're in a boat, like this is, you're going to greener pastures, but you have some fear around it because you're not sure. We all want, you know, I get a lot of clients and say, you know, I want this and I want a guarantee. There are no, the only guarantee in life is change. <laughs> That's the only guarantee. Life isn't about guarantees. Life is about an adventure, about a journey. And it's about us, hopefully, it's about learning about ourselves and how we can um, live better lives and help others in the process, right? That's ideally what we should be doing. But when the Six of um, Swords comes in, it's saying that you are ready to move on. And yes, there's some fear. But I, I, you know, get in the boat, darling. 
Get in the boat and sail away because it's going to be so much better than where you are. When the Six of Swords comes in, it's saying that change is good. You're going to have the courage to get in. Yes, there are there may be some, you know, choppy waters on the way, but in the end, there, there are greener pastures for you. So it's better than where you are. Sometimes things are sent in to shake us up, to get us moving. We, you know, we could become complacent and we need that nudge. Hey, no, you're not most supposed to be here. You're supposed to be way down the road doing something much better and being much happier. You're not meant to be miserable. You're not meant to be miserable, Libra. You're meant to have a happy, wonderful life. And this is saying, don't be afraid of that change. Don't be in fear because it's going to be so much better by staying still in that fear. You're robbing yourself of happiness, right? Um, now the next card in, you've got the lovers. Now the lovers can mean that you could meet somebody and fall in love. It could mean that the person you're with, you may get into a deeper, more meaningful kind of relationship with them. And then, you know, people in long-term relationships, there's ebbs and flows, right? Sometimes you're not getting along so well, or one person loves the other one more, and, and you know, it goes backwards and forwards. Well, this is a lovely swing in your relationship or in a friendship even, it could be for some of you. This is also, when this card comes up, look, there's definitely passion coming in here. There's passion coming in. Um, whether this is passion for love, it can be passion for friendships, it can be passion for your parents, whatever it is, it's passion. And it's a connection with someone, with a person or people. Um, and then clarifying it is the Queen of Pentacles. And this is about manifestation, right? I feel that you're going to have some really passionate times ahead. Um, and it's manifesting for you, darling. It's really going to pay off. Don't worry about that boat. Get in that boat, Libra. It's going to be really good for you. And this is, look, whenever the pentacles comes in, it's not like you're going to be handed something on a silver platter. It's about work, you know. It's about get to work, darling, because things are really paying off. Get in that boat. Make those changes. Things are going to be wonderful for you. You're going to get paid. You're getting opulence and you're going to get you're going to get the riches that you desire and deserve. We all deserve them. And then the next card, darling, is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I always say that you have a choice here. Normally, when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, it is about the wheel turning in your direction. And I always think it is that. But I also think that you have a certain amount of uh, choice, if you will. You choose whether this is the wheel of fortune or the wheel of misfortune. And I'm saying that because clarifying it is the five of cups. And this is someone that's in deprivation, who's focusing on something that hasn't worked out. And this is really important to get yourself out of this energy because the Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity, right, for things to really take off. Look, you've got all this passion. Let it take off. Don't come into this energy of, you know, crying over something that's not worked out. You have to look forward and look forward optimistically. Start looking at your cup as half full. What, it, what do you have? What has worked out for you? What can you be grateful for? Start little things to build that energy up and get it going so you're going to turn the wheel of fortune in your direction. Get that energy up. Raise your vibration. When you raise your vibration, you are a beacon of light attracting uh, wonderful magnetic good vibes, right? Wonderful things. So you start off with little things that you're grateful for. Say, oh, okay, look, that spilt. You know what? But I've got this because he's crying over the three broken cups or the spilt cups, but there's two full cups right there behind him that he's got his back to. He's turned his back on, on his fortune. And so you have the wheel of fortune. You have the power to have the most incredible opportunities and life and you know to be really happy but it is your choice Libra 
Is it going to be the wheel of fortune or is it going to be the wheel of misfortune? You're in control. Don't let life happen. Take life by the you know what. And make it happen, darling, because you have the power. I want to sing that thing. You've got the power. <laughs> well, listen, it's your birthday, Libra. Happy birthday. It starts this week. So I am going to pull a card, uh, an extra card. You get an extra card for the time that it's your birthday. And you overlapped with uh, Virgo. Virgo got an extra card and you're getting an extra card. And I am going to pull a Mother Mary card out in honor of my mom. I feel that she's here and it's, this is, look, I, I, I get what, I really love doing these readings. I really do. I really get to connect with my uh, spirit guides and, um, and it really works for me. And it's taking me out of this, you know, sorrow of losing my mom. So this is wonderful. I'm very happy. So let's see what Mother Mary has, uh, what wonderful guidance, gifts, and uh, information does Mother Mary have for Libras for this coming week? What wonderful gifts, guide? Oh, here it is. Oh. Our Lady of Charity. Oh, um, let me read this for you because I don't know these off by heart. So I am going to read this. Our Lady of Charity. Oh, my goodness. 44. That's the angels are with you, darling. That's a very powerful angelic number. 44. You have the angels and all the power with you. Extra love and power. And look at those beautiful. Look at that beautiful card. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, okay, so 44. Oh, spirit's here. My nose is itching. Uh, 44. This is beautiful. 44, Our Lady of Charity. I will call upon my strongest children to aid those in need. I will empower your prayer and act through you. My powers are vast enough to keep you safe and protected no matter where you may be. Fear not. And maintain your focus on me. I shall guide you, my beloved. Don't be in fear. Don't be in fear of this change. You've got Mother Mary on your side guiding you. Ask for help, darling. And then give me help. Sometimes through giving help, you it's like me. I'm doing these readings. It's taking me out of my own stuff. I don't need to be, you know, focused on my own stuff. I need to be here giving these wonderful messages from spirit to you guys. Focus on helping someone less fortunate or just be a, be, you know, be a lending ear. You know, I've, I, I, I just have to say that I've been, I, I'm so touched and, and, and I, I well, I can't even think of the words, overwhelmed with all the love that's poured towards me and my family. And we are so grateful. It is such, it, it really, in times of need, you really, when people reach out like that, even if you can't talk to them, it just fills your soul and makes you realize that you are not alone and that you are loved. And you are loved, Libra. You have Mother Mary with you. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all, and I'll see you next week.